Welcome to This Week in Badger Athletics for the week of April 18th. I'm Patrick Herb. When fans last saw the Wisconsin football team at Camp Randall Stadium, it was hoisting a Big Ten championship trophy. Now this Saturday, the team hopes to lay the foundation for another title run next season. The Badgers put the wraps on spring ball this week by staging the annual Wisconsin football spring game inside Camp Randall Stadium this Saturday. For fans, it's a chance to catch a glimpse of the team they'll see on Saturdays in the fall. For the Badgers, it's an opportunity to end spring practice on a high note. From a, a football point of view, I really like the growth we've had over the last four weeks. I thought uh, each week we've literally seen guys get better, um, especially at certain positions. Bielema and his staff plan to maximize the benefits of the spring game by playing the first team offense against the first team defense. One of the changes that we're going to make this year to the spring game um, to kind of spice it up a little bit and I think give a true, true assessment where we're at. I'm going to actually play ones against ones. Uh, we'll put our, our number one offense out there against our number one defense and, and let guys compete. I think it'll be a cleaner game and really give us a better understanding um, of where we're at. So. Tickets for the annual spring game are still available for $5 at the UW ticket office. You can obtain those by calling 1-800-GO-BADGERS or visiting uwbadgers.com. This year, all proceeds will go to benefit the UW School of Nursing. After dropping a weekend series at Indiana, softball will enjoy the comforts of home this week, opening a stretch that has the Badgers playing eight of their next ten games at Goodman Diamond. This week's four-game Big Ten homestand begins with a doubleheader on Wednesday against Minnesota, before the Badgers face Illinois in games on Saturday and Sunday. This is the hardest part of the season, so you know when you face your toughest competition at the end, you've been playing a lot of games, now you're in the heart of Big Ten play, I think buy a huge thing right now. Come out to Goodman Diamond and support the softball team this Wednesday against Minnesota. That doubleheader starts at 4 p.m. This weekend, the Badgers will take on Illinois and both games start at noon. You can catch all four games streamed live on InsideBadgerSports.com. After consecutive weekends on the road, it's the women's tennis team's turn to host a pair of Big Ten opponents at Nielsen Stadium, as the Badgers host Iowa at noon on Saturday and Illinois at noon on Sunday. The Badger men, meanwhile, travel to Iowa City on Friday and Champaign on Sunday. Women's golf has already hit championship season and will head to Glencoe, Illinois this weekend to compete in the Big Ten championships. The Badgers finished fourth last year on their home course at University Ridge, a performance they will look to improve upon with help from Lindsey Danielson, who finished second in a field that featured nine Big Ten teams at last week's Lady Buckeye Invitational. She just has done a great job all season, and so I was really excited to see the finish here um, in a real strong field and just very strong, very patient, very consistent with what she did all weekend. For the first time since 2007, the women's lightweight rowing team will compete in Madison as the Badgers host MIT in a duel on Lake Mendota set for Saturday. The race will begin at 10 a.m. and will finish at the Memorial Union if conditions allow. Uh, a couple weeks ago when the men raced here, it was perfect, so it was as good as any place in the country. Um, on, this, on this lake, it's a little bit more susceptible to the weather. There are some places where it doesn't really matter how hard the wind blows, you're gonna be able to row there. This isn't one of those places. So. Crazy Legs Classic is rapidly approaching, set for Saturday, April 30th. They're expecting record turnout for the 30th annual race, and you can register for the 8K run or two-mile walk at crazylegsclassic.com. For more information on everything going on this week in Badger Athletics and complete coverage leading up to Saturday's spring game, stay with uwbadgers.com. We'll talk to you next Monday.